Hi everyone, it's Rain here from Rain's Kitchen and Garden. Well, I'm doing something a little different today. I'm sharing a video that I made for another channel that I have called Rain Francis Art for Kids. That channel is made for kids, well, kids of all ages, and I offer real-time drawing and painting lessons. The video that I'm sharing with you today is how to paint ghosts for Halloween. Ooh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And just one note, when you have a channel or a video, that's labeled made for kids comments are automatically turned off so you won't be able to comment on this video but i hope that you enjoy it and i hope that you check out rain francis art for kids if you're a kid at heart or if you have kids who want to learn how to draw and paint i would love to see you there thanks for watching everyone welcome to rain francis art for kids my name is rain in this series halloween party we draw and paint and create everything that has to do with this spooky season of halloween so let's begin happy halloween my friends today i'm going to show you how to paint these ghosts with watercolors and acrylics so let's begin these are the supplies that you'll need for today's painting well, it's very fitting that we're going to do ghosts today since it's Halloween. Happy Halloween, my friends. So this is what you'll need. You're going to need some watercolor paper. I have a watercolor pad here that I bought at the dollar store and it works very, very well. If you don't have watercolor paper, you could always use regular paper. But just keep in mind that regular paper was not made to receive water. Okay, so it could warp or it could tear. So I'm just, keep that in mind. I have some masking tape that I'm gonna to use to frame out my, my watercolor paper. As for paints, I've got watercolor paints. The only watercolors that I'm gonna be using today are a dark blue, sort of, let me show you, this color here, this one right here, and I'm gonna use my black. I also have some dollar store white acrylic paint that I'm going to use for the ghosts. We're going to mix that with water. For paint brushes, I've just got two brushes here. I've got a large round brush and a small round brush. If you want to know the numbers on the brushes, the small one is a number two. And the large one, I don't know because it sort of wore off over the years, but I think it's either a number eight or a number ten. I have a palette here that I'm going to use for my white paint. You don't need a palette. If you have a, a bowl or a paper plate or a regular plate, you could use that. I have some water and some paper towel, and I'm ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is frame out my page. Now this is optional. You don't have to do this, but I personally always like to frame it out because I like to have clean edges. And when I take off the masking tape at the end, it's a lot of fun. Okay, this one's too short. I need a longer piece. Make sure you have a long enough piece here to cover your entire page. Now I'll use that shorter piece on the side here. Okay. this one on again because I put it I didn't put it on straight so just take that off and put it on straight if I can fix it there there we go okay now here's a little tip for you don't go doing this on your masking tape because you'll burn your finger and trust me you will don't go and try it to see if I'm right <laughs> You will burn your finger and it doesn't feel good. So use a cloth or a paper towel to push down your masking tape, okay? You want to push it down hard enough because you don't want the paint to bleed through the sides. It does happen sometimes, but let's try our best. Make sure that doesn't happen so we have a nice frame at the end. All right. And I didn't mention this, but I have an old dollar store paintbrush that I use 
before the paint goes on just to brush off all the dust and everything from my page. This is a very simple painting, my friends. Okay, so I'm going to take my watercolors and if you can see the third from the left here, I'm pointing to a blue here. That's the color blue that I'm going to use. This one here, it's kind of a dark blue. It's called Prussian blue, if you want the name of it. And I'm really loading up my brush. My brush, I just dipped in water first. And I'm going to go across my entire page. You see that nice dark blue? Isn't that pretty? And you don't have to be perfect with this. Just dipping it in water, dipping my brush in water, and I'm going back to load up my brush again. All across my page. Okay? And it doesn't have to be even or perfect or anything like that. We just want to have some blue in the background. I'm dipping my paintbrush in water again and loading up my paintbrush again. I don't suggest you put your paints over your paper because it could drip. I'm just doing that to show you what I'm doing, okay? But don't do that. Keep your paints always on the side. Keep your water always on the side. All right. Now what I'm going to do, this dries very, very quickly. What I'm going to do is put a second layer on here. And putting on a second layer, all that means is that you're painting it a second time. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing. I dipped my paintbrush into the water and I'm loading up my brush and I'm going to put more paint on my canvas to try to get it a little bit darker. Okay, dipping it in water, loading up my brush and putting more paint on my paper or my canvas. And make sure you get all the way to the edges of the masking tape here, okay? And don't put too much water on your brush because then your page will get too wet and it'll start to warp and it'll take a long time to dry. You might need to take a hair dryer out to dry it if you want to keep going, unless you're willing to wait. I'm not one who likes to wait. <laughs> so I like to make sure that I don't put too much water on my page. See, now we have a really nice dark blue. I think that's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to put my watercolor pa paint aside and I'm just going to clean off my brush. Okay. So how are you guys doing? Did you choose a really nice dark blue or do you have a light blue? All right, getting all that blue off of my paintbrush. Now what we're going to do, this is still a little wet. That's going to dry while I'm getting my white ready, okay? And I'm going to be careful right now. I'm just taking a paper towel. Don't do this. You're, you're going to do this on the side, but I'm doing this here so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm shaking up my white acrylic paint. And I'm going to put a big blob of it onto my palette right in the middle there. We don't need that much, okay? That's what I've done. And I'm taking my big round brush again, and I'm going to dip it into clean water. And I'm adding some water here because I want to kind of thin that paint out a little bit. I don't want it to be a solid white. I want it to be kind of a thin paint. So I'm adding water to that. There, that's really thin. I'm just going to put that down for a second while I take my paper towel off carefully. All right. Now let's put some ghosts on the page. Now what you can do I'm wiping off my big brush and I'm going to use my small brush just for now to outline the ghosts. You can put as many ghosts as you want, but I'm probably going to put five or six of them. Now watch how I do this. I've got, let's see, I've got one ghost coming down here. And you can dip your, into your paint as much as you need to. There 
there's one ghost and we're gonna fill him in after okay and do this with all of the ghosts that you want to put onto your page I'm gonna put one's head coming out here and I've got a little guy down here Maybe a thin one coming up over here. And just this little guy coming out here on the side. All right, so we've got some ghosts there. I'm just wiping off my little brush and I'm gonna take my large brush and I'm gonna fill in each ghost with the white. Just filling that in. And if you have a ghost on the side like me, here, make sure you get all the way out to that masking tape. Now it's up to you if you want your ghost to be really, really white, go ahead. But what I'm doing is I'm taking my clean brush and I'm wiping off a little bit of that white because I want him to kind of be transparent. Let me show you what I'm doing on this ghost, just so you know. First, I've got all that white paint and I'm filling in my ghost with the white paint. And it doesn't have to be even. And you see what I'm doing? I'm going over it a second time and it's removing just a little bit of that white paint, which is okay. That's what I'm looking for. He's kind of transparent and we might put a second layer on him. That's, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. So I'm doing that again here. I'm taking some of my white and I'm gonna put all that white in. And this is why I'm gonna show you in a second, just filling that in. He's very white, this guy. There's a little drop of white there. That's why I don't want you to hold your palette over your canvas. The only reason I'm doing that is to show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take a little paper towel. I'm dipping it in water and I'm just gonna dab that off, okay? And I dabbed a little bit of my ghost, so I'm gonna fix him. There we go. I'm gonna leave him like that and I'm gonna go and do the other ghosts. And I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. There's a little spot of white right there. Sorry, I hit my microphone there. I didn't mean to do that. Hope that wasn't hard on your ears. All right, let's get that off there. Now I'm gonna go in and do my last little ghost here. He's kind of peeking in from the side. I'm gonna put him down like that actually. All right, now my canvas is a little wet, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is a second layer of white. While it's still wet, that means it's not gonna be perfectly white. It's gonna be kind of transparent because you're gonna be able to see some of the blue under that, which is what I want. But if you wanna wait for your paint to dry, you can definitely do that if you want your ghosts to be really, really white. Just like I said, make sure you get down below past the masking tape line to make sure that you've got uh, your ghosts all the way to the bottom. And remember, you can put as many ghosts as you want. And 
and they can be as dark or as light or as transparent as you want. This is your painting. And we're having fun on Halloween here. All right. How you guys doing? I think my ghosts are good. I'm just going to clean off my brush. I'll let you guys catch up. Are you doing anything for Halloween this year? I know that life has been tough for kids, you know, around Halloween for the past couple of years. You may not have been allowed to go out because of, you know, the, uh, the COVID virus, you know. Hopefully this year, if you do go out for Halloween, you'll be able to have a little more fun. Just, you know, make sure you're safe. Now, my paint is still wet, but that's okay. I'm going to take my black watercolor here with my small brush. I'm dipping my, my paintbrush into water and I'm going into that black watercolor and I'm really, really loading up my brush and I'm making sure that it's not too wet. And I'm just gonna go in and put some eyes. And it's okay if it's wet. The eyes don't have to be the same size. And maybe a little mouth. Ooh, that's what he's saying. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so you can do that with all of your ghosts. And you know, you could use acrylic paint for this too if you want, if you don't have black watercolor. I'm just dipping my brush into the water when it gets too dry. <laughs> These ghosts are really trying to be scary, I think. I'm just rinsing off my brush once in a while because my paint is wet. There's a little bit of white that's going on to my brush and I don't, I don't want that white on my brush. You can make the eyes large or small. They can be round. They can be shapes of cylinders, you know, long eyes, long oval eyes, big, small, doesn't matter. Same thing for the mouth. They can be big or small, but we want to make sure they're kind of look like they're going <laughs> And this guy's just peeking in with one eye, I think. And his mouth is here, just on the side of that masking tape. I just want to make sure that I got all the way over to the masking tape. I'm going to make his eye bigger. There. <laughs> I think my ghosts are done. That was really, really fun to do. Did you guys finish? Are you, you all done? That was a fun painting to do on Halloween. All right, so what I'm going to do, my painting is still wet, but that's okay. I'm going to gently pull off the masking tape. So we'll start with the sides because we put those on last. And I'm going to go very gently because my paint is still a little wet. Okay. And you see, that's why I like to do the masking tape because I painted this ghost on the side, so it actually looks like he's coming out of a window. I think it's kind of neat. So next up is this side. This guy too. It looks like he's come, he's peeking in from a window. That's why I really, really like the masking tape for that. I'm 
being very careful. And if you push down hard enough, the paint should not bleed through and you should have a nice clean frame at the end. And it looks like so far I'm doing okay. There. That looks great. I'm just going to make sure that's straight for you. <laughs> so there's our there's our ghost painting for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this, my friends. And remember to mom and dad, if you post your kids' art on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. The link is in the description below and also in the About section of this page. Now, I usually tell you guys to sign your work, but because my painting is wet, I haven't signed it yet. But what I usually do is either sign the back or I sign here on the border. So don't forget to sign your work. And we'll see you next time on Halloween Party. Happy Halloween, everyone. Bye. Thank you.